Namaste. Welcome to class. My name is Kate. For today, you won't need anything much, just your yoga mat. If you have props though, you can use that to support you. Especially blocks could be very helpful to bring the floor a little closer to you in some poses. Remember to also listen to your body all throughout and make sure that you keep a consistent breath all throughout the class too. When you're ready, we're going to start in an easy seated position. And I want you to bring your hands together in prayer position in front of the heart space or in Anjali Mudra. And at your own time, close your eyes. Can you relax your shoulders here? Relax around the hips, thighs, and knees. Allow your hips to ground into the mat. And then feel the spine all the way to the crown of your head lift up to the sky. Open the heart space. And start with a deep breath in through your nose. And sigh it out through your mouth. And again, inhale. And sigh it all out. One more time, inhale. And let it go. Allow yourself to slowly settle down here. Feeling more present with each second that passes by. Feel the toes here, your ankles, your knees, your thighs and hips. Feel the pelvis here and can you relax the entire lower body? Let it drop and fall to the mat. And then feel the spine as it lengthens. Feel the rib cage here. Breathing in and out through your nose. And maybe you feel the belly kind of rise and fall with the breath. Same with the lungs. Breathe into the heart and feel your heart here beating against your chest. Maybe your thumbs can even feel it. Notice how it feels to have the hands pressing against each other. Can you relax around the elbows? Drop the shoulders away from your ears and create length and space around the neck. Soften your chin and your jaw. Relax around the forehead and eyebrows. And then bring all your awareness now to your breath. For the next few rounds of breath, we're going to be breathing in for about four counts. We'll hold the breath for four, and then we'll exhale for four counts through the nose. It's important that as you do this way of breathing, keep everything at ease, especially the shoulders, the chest. Relax the body here. Take your time and really slow it down. To begin, just take a normal breath in first, and a normal breath out. And then slowly inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold the breath, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale through your nose, feel the belly expand. Hold the breath, relax the shoulders. And exhale through the nose, draw the navel in. Inhale. Hold the breath, exhale, inhale, hold, exhale, inhale, hold the breath, exhale. Last inhale, hold, and exhale. Now inhale through your nose, and exhale through the nose. Inhale, 
Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Continue this breath now on your own. This is the breath that you'll use throughout the class. Before we come out of this seated meditation, check in with your thoughts today. Check in with your emotions today. Begin to allow these thoughts to come and go. No longer attaching yourself to any of the thoughts that pass by. And same with the emotions. Taking a step back from any emotion that is present with you right now. No need to push it away. No need to change it. Just simply step away. Allow yourself to be aware of the thoughts and emotions that come and go all throughout the class. Taking one more breath here, inhale and exhale. When you're ready, blink your eyes open and come into a child's pose. So come to the hands and knees, separate your knees wide apart, bring your feet together, sit on your heels and crawl the arms forward until the forehead and elbows can rest on the floor. Try your best to push more weight into the hips just as much as it feels comfortable for you. Breathing into your thighs, into the hips. Maybe you feel a nice stretch on the tops of your feet and ankles. And then breathe into the back as well. Can you crawl your fingers forward a little bit more? Maybe stay on the tips of your fingers. The elbows can lift off the ground. So you can really extend the arms and create more length in the side body. And then allow the chest, the heart to melt down to the floor. Feel that open up the heart a little bit. Anytime you need to take a break in the short practice, you can come into child's pose and stay there for as long as you need to. Take another breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Now very slowly push your palms into the mat. Tuck your toes under and lift your hips up and back to your first downward facing dog. Now here, you can take your time to wake up the body, stretch out the body, and move the body any way that you feel is necessary for you. Maybe pressing one heel down at a time. Let your head pass through the arms, let it drop through the arms, and really push the mat away from you using your hands and arms here. Send the hips up higher. And even if the heels don't touch the floor, think about pushing the heels into the ground. Take a few more breaths here. Draw the navel in and try to send your heart closer to the legs. Take another breath. Inhale. And exhale. Now step your feet closer together in down dog and then kick your right leg up and back, flexing the foot in your three-legged down dog. If you glance at your right leg, make sure the toes are facing down, your right leg is facing down, and square your hips here. There's a tendency to lift one hip higher just to get the leg up higher, and that's not really needed, so you can adjust the right hip down a little bit. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Now inhale, look at your hands and step the right foot forward outside of the right hand. So we're preparing for a lizard pose. From here, you're going to keep the right foot flat. Make sure the right foot is in line with your hands and the knee is right by the right shoulder. Lower the left knee down to the floor and you can stay on your hands. Take a few moments here, sinking your hips forward to the right heel to really get into that right hip and left thigh, stretching the left hip flexors, opening the heart forward. And take a few more breaths here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Inhale and exhale. Now very slowly, 
you're gonna push into the hands tuck your left toes and lift the left knee off the ground and then from here reach your right arm up over your head and then can you reach the right arm all the way to the front of the room so kind of bring it close to the right ear allow this to stretch the right side of your body if you're able to maybe you can slide the right foot back just a few inches kind of let the right foot drop to its edge let the knee push away from you and then sink your hips down into the floor the left hip down to the ground just for a deeper stretch you can bring your right arm up to the ceiling instead or reach it back towards your left leg if that's too much for you just stay in the previous um, modification and take another breath here inhale and exhale from here we're gonna move to the other side coming into a side lunge so crawl your hands down to the floor and to the left and then bend into the right knee right foot flat left toes face up now so as you're here, if this is too much, you can always stay on your toes. But if you're on your right toes, make sure that the right knee opens out to the side. This pose can be a little tricky, so it's okay if you're kind of struggling here a little bit. Find a way to make it a bit more comfortable for you. You can stay on your fingertips. Think about lifting the chest up. And yes, this is a very deep stretch for the left hip and the left leg and for the right hip as well so breathe through this one more breath inhale and exhale push into the ground and crawl your hands to the right foot again facing the front of your mat left toes down so you're back in this lunge position palms are flat step back downward facing dog hang out here in down dog for a little bit just observe how the right body feels and now that you kind of know what's coming, maybe this time you can move with a little bit more grace. Take another breath, inhale, and exhale. Now, inhale, lift your left leg up and back, flexing the left foot. Same thing, make sure that your hips are still facing down. The pelvis is still squared. One more breath, inhale and exhale now inhale look at your left hand and step your left foot outside of that left hand you can help it get there you can carry the ankle to make it easier and then lower the right knee down gently you can point your back toes if you did on the other side and then the hands can stay flat on the floor in case you did this on the other side you can also lower down to the forearms but again take it easy listen to your body a few more breaths here Lifting your chest, rolling the shoulders back, sinking your hips towards the left heel so you can really stretch into the hips and thighs. Take your last three breaths, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Now from here, inhale can you tuck your back toes lift the right knee up and then reach your left arm up you can stay here or take your left arm close to the left ear and again you can also stay here or if you want a little bit more move your left foot back a little bit a few inches roll onto the blade of the right foot and sink your right hip down towards the mat you're now facing the left side and then reach your left arm back towards your right leg this may feel good for some of you. Maybe it won't feel that great. So you can just go back to the previous pose. Take another breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Moving into Skandasana. So slowly lower the left hand down. Come back to center. Crawl your hands to the right. Squat on your left leg. And then keep that right leg straight with the right toes now facing up. So remember you're on your right heel sink your hips low and it's okay to stay on your left toes the left heel off the ground if that's you more open your left knee further away from your shoulder really move that knee out and then you can just keep your hands on the floor lift the chest up or relax and sink your hips deeper for those with the left foot flat last breath here inhale 
and exhale. Now slowly push into the ground, come back into a lunge position facing the front of the mat, and then step back downward facing dog. We're going to take a few sun salutations now. So inhale, look forward, step or hop to the front of your mat, and then lift up halfway, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, fold. Can you come into ragdoll first, holding on to opposite elbows, swaying side to side, and allowing the upper body to be heavy here? Take your last breath, inhale, and exhale. Now slowly release the hands down, bend the knees a little bit, feet press into the floor, and roll your spine up to stand one bone at a time, stacking your head, and then rolling the shoulders down, arms down by your side, mountain pose. So with the feet slightly apart, your knees slightly bent, but not hyper extended. Relax your shoulders, open the heart, inhale, sweep your hands up over your head, gaze up at the hands. As you exhale, dive forward, fold over your legs, hands to the floor, relax the shoulders and neck, feel the weight on your toes. Inhale, lift up halfway, chest up, and then exhale, take your hands to the ground, step your right foot back, followed by the left foot, and come into a high plank. Really press your hands into the floor, pull the belly in, legs are strong and engaged, and then inhale, slightly shift forward, exhale, you can drop your knees down and chaturanga, lower down. Inhale, lift up to your back bend, you can stay in a low cobra, or lift up higher, pointing your toes, rolling the shoulders back. And as you exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Breathe here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now inhale, look forward. Step or hop your feet to the front. Lift up halfway. Lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bow your head down. Now inhale, roll your spine up. Reach up to the sky. And then exhale, let's fold forward right away, bow your head down. Inhale, come up halfway, lengthen. Exhale, take your hands to the floor, step your left foot back, followed by the right foot, find your high plank position. Inhale, shift forward a little bit, exhale, chaturanga, lowering down. Inhale, lift up to your back bend, point your toes, shoulders roll back. And then exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Stay there, breathe, inhale, and exhale, inhale, exhale, one more breath, inhale, and exhale, inhale, look forward, step or hop your feet forward to the hands and lift up halfway, exhale, fold forward, bow your head down, inhale, rise all the way up to stand, hands up over your head, look up. And then exhale, bow down again, hands to the floor. Inhale, lift up halfway, chest up. Exhale, take your hands down. Step or hop back, flow through your vinyasa, and then come back to down dog when you're finished. Take a few more breaths here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. From your down dog, slowly inhale, kick your right leg up and back, flex the right foot, push into the floor with your hands and your left foot so you can lift the leg a little higher. As you exhale, bring the knee to your nose, hug it in, round your back, shifting your shoulders over the hands. And then inhale, step the right foot forward, lower the left knee down, and reach your arms up over your head into your low lunge. As you're here, draw the arms further back in line with the ears or further behind the ears. Lift your chin up a little bit, but don't drop your head back. Lengthen from your lower belly all the way to the heart. And take another breath, inhale. As you exhale, lower your hands down to the floor. Tuck your back toes, lift the left knee up, and turn your left foot flat. Rise up into a five-point star so the arms and legs are straight, but you're now facing the left side of the mat. 
Make sure that the right foot is pointing forward while your left foot is pointing to the left side of the mat and your feet are intersecting here. Inhale, reach and lean forward. Exhale, lower the right hand down to the shin, not on your knee, but below the knee. And then reach your left hand up to the sky. Open your chest here. Imagine there's a wall behind you and you want to lean the entire body against that wall. Really squeeze into the thighs a little bit. Press into the feet and let the heart open up. One more breath. Inhale and exhale. Now from here, look down at your right foot. You can either bring the right hand down to the floor by the big toe or bring the right elbow to the right thigh and bend your knee deeply. Take your left arm over your head towards the front of your mat and come into your extended side angle pose. Make sure that your left foot is pressing into the floor, especially the blade of the foot. And then you want your right knee to stay stacked above your ankle. So if your knee is moving past your ankle already, then maybe adjust your left foot further back. Take one more breath here. Inhale and exhale. From here, look down and lower the hands down to the mat. Crawl your hands down to the left side of your mat and then turn your toes in and your heels out. Legs are now straight, wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, fold it forward and bow your head down. Now, as you fold forward, there's no need to force your head to come to the mat. That'll just happen eventually. For now, focus on creating space and length in the back of your legs. So think about pushing your thighs back, lifting the butt up higher, folding deeper to the thighs, but keeping your spine long. And then maybe think about reaching the heart towards the floor. The hands can move back hands as wide as the shoulders, palms are flat just like your plank or chaturanga arms, and then let the head just relax. Last two breaths. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now inhale, walk your hands forward, lift up halfway, bend your knees a little bit as you exhale, crawl your hands to the right foot to the front of your mat again. Coming into pyramid pose, so step your left foot closer until the feet are flat. So here, this may be a good time to use your blocks if you have them, one, under, one underneath each hand. And then from here, inhale, lengthen your spine. Think about trying to square your hips. So most likely, you'll have to move the right hip back, left hip forward, and think about lifting your left hip up a little bit more so that your hips are kind of squared. Now inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Relax your head. Relax your neck here. It's okay if the right knee isn't straight. You can keep it slightly bent. But again, as long as you feel a stretch on the back of the leg, that's what matters more. Same with your left leg. Really push the left heel into the floor and push the thigh back. Lift your right hip up a little bit more. Send it back. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Now inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, bend your right knee, palms are flat on the mat, and then take a few steps back until you're in your plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lift up to your back, bend, point your toes. And exhale, hips up, downward dog. Stay here for a few moments. Notice how you're feeling so far. We're almost done with the practice. All right, so from here, inhale, kick your left leg up and back, flex your left foot, feel the heel reaching back, hips are still squared. Remember how, hip, how squared your hips are here. This is the same in your pyramid pose later on. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Bring your knee to the chest, hug it in, round your back, and then step the left foot forward to the left hand. Lower the right knee down and lift your hands up over your head. Relax your shoulders here. Feel the arms drawing back behind the head. Keep your chin and throat open, but you can keep the neck in line with the spine. So meaning don't drop your head back. One more breath. Inhale. Sink your hips deeper. And then exhale. Take your hands down. Coming into triangle. So lift the right knee off the floor. Spin your right foot flat and rise all the way up to a five-point star. 
From here, legs are straight, feet intersect, inhale, reach your left arm forward, shift your hips back a little bit, and then exhale, lower the left hand down to your shin and reach your right hand straight up to the ceiling. Open your chest here, gaze up at the right hand, relax your wrists, and make sure you're not dumping weight into the left leg. Think about reaching up as if somebody's pulling you up, lifting you up. Take another breath, inhale, and exhale. Now look down. Remember your options for a side angle. Either bend the left knee and take the elbow to the thigh or left hand flat on the ground. Look up at the right hand. Open your chest. Bend deeper. Feel the stretch in your inner thighs and inner hips. Press into that right foot. Open your heart up. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Now lower your right hand down. Crawl your hands to the right side of your mat and turn your toes in and your heels out. From here, inhale. Lift your chest up. Can you take your hands to the lower back? Interlace your fingers. If that's too difficult, hold on to opposite elbows or just to opposite forearms. That's good too. And then squeeze your shoulder blades. Roll the shoulders back as you exhale. Fold and either lift your hands up and away from the back or keep holding on to your forearms all throughout. Bowing down. Relax your head and your neck. Feel the weight on your toes. Breathe into the back of your legs. Last few breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. From here, lower the hands to the floor. Lift yourself up halfway, lengthen. Exhale, bend your knees and crawl your hands to the left leg. Step your right foot a little closer and turn your feet to face the front of the mat. Your right foot kind of angled to the upper right corner of your mat. Heels are flat. Feet can be slightly wider apart as well. Lengthen your spine. Inhale. Exhale. Fold into that left leg. Again, feel the left hip pulling back and lifting up slightly. Figuring out here, listening your, to your body and finding that perfect spot for the pelvis where you feel a deep stretch in the back of the left leg. Both sides of the torso are long. Relax your head here. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Now inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, bend your left knee and step your left leg back to a plank position. Take your vinyasa here again. We're all going to meet in your down dog. Take your time. When you're finished, come down to your knees, swing your legs forward, and sit down on your mat. Coming into your Janusursasana, so from here, can you extend your legs forward but bend your right knee and drop your knee to the right side, foot to your left thigh. Flex your left foot, keep your left hand down by your hips, and then inhale right hand up. Exhale, lean forward and think about reaching for the foot or any part of the leg, but can you reach for the outer part of your leg? So somewhere on the left side, on the pinky toe side or the left side of the leg itself. It can be the knee, the calf, the ankle or the foot itself. Bow your head down. Maybe the knee has to be bent. That's okay too. Breathe in and breathe out. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Now inhale, slowly release, sit up tall. Make sure you move yourself to kind of the left side of your mat so that your right knee is still on your mat. We'll need that as extra padding. You're going to take the right hand on the floor behind you with the fingers pointing back. Make sure the right hand is not too close to you though. From here, you're going to shift your weight to the right hand, to the right knee, Keep the left leg as is, lifting your butt off the floor, and then sweep your left arm over your head, reaching back. Create space in the front of the body, stretching the left side of the body as you extend your arm. Push your hips forward, relax your head, take another breath, inhale, and then exhale, sit all the way back down. Now, once you're seated again, you're going to take the right knee up and bring the right foot outside of the left leg. Make sure the right foot is flat. Flex your extended leg 
and then inhale sit up tall right hand goes behind you reach your left hand up to the sky and then exhale either hug your knee or take your left elbow outside of your knee and twist deep look over your shoulder stay here relax breathing in and breathing out keep your weight around the pelvis not on your right hand as you inhale, think about lengthening the spine even more. And as you exhale, twist from your navel up, looking back towards the shoulder. Last breath there. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, come out of your twist and then release your right leg. Let's do everything on the other side. If you already want to move to the right side of your mat, you can do that now. And then bend your left knee and drop your knee to the side, foot to the thigh. Right hand remains by your side. Inhale, reach your left hand up. Exhale, reach forward and grab either the pinky toe side of the foot or any part of your right leg. You can bend your knee to help you too and let the head relax. Keep your left knee heavy on the ground as well. Breathe, inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale, one more breath, inhale, and exhale, inhale, slowly lift yourself up, release your right foot, and then take your left hand behind you, fingers pointing back with your hand a few inches behind, send your weight to the left side, and sweep your right arm over your head, lifting your hips off of the floor. Open up the front of the body, stretching the side of your body from the right fingers all the way down to the right toes. Take another breath, lift the hips up higher, inhale, and exhale, slowly sit all the way back down. Take your left knee to the chest and bring the left foot outside of the right leg. Right foot stays flexed here, left hand will now go behind you with the fingers pointing back. Inhale, reach your right hand up. Exhale, either hug the left knee and twist or elbow outside of the knee and twist. Gaze back at your left shoulder. And just like we did earlier, inhale to lengthen. Exhale, twist from your navel up and look back. Keep breathing here. Even if it's a bit tricky to breathe in a twist, still do your best to take in air. Use a diaphragm to support your breath. And then exhale, draw the belly in, twist a little deeper. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Slowly inhale, look forward. Exhale, come out of your twist and release your left leg. Adjust yourself so you're within the, core, the center of your mat. And then carefully lie down on your back. We're going to come into reclined pigeon. So from here, bend your knees, feet flat on the floor. Can you take your right ankle over your left knee, flexing your right foot here? Now, this is a good place to stay if this is already a deep stretch for the right hip. You want to keep pushing your knee away from you. You can even use your hand to help you with that. But if you want a little bit more, take the right hand in between the legs and then reach for the left leg, either the left thigh or reach for the left shin. Bring your legs in closer to you. The right leg moves closer to the chest while your right knee moves away from you. And you can use your right elbow to push against the thigh to assist the right leg from opening up, the right hip from opening up more. And just relax your left foot here. Relax your head, your neck, and shoulders, and breathe. Take another breath, inhale, and exhale. From here, slowly release your legs, keep your knees into the chest, arms out wide like a T, take a breath in, and then exhale. Twist to the left, allow the knees to fall down to the floor. Look over your right shoulder, relax the shoulders, breathe here. Take another breath, inhale, and exhale. Now inhale, come back to center. And then we're going to do your reclined pigeon on the other side. So bring your feet flat on the floor first. Take your left ankle over the right knee. 
and then either stay here with your left hand pressing against the thigh to assist your left hip or take your left hand in between the legs grab your right leg and pull the legs in towards the chest left elbow can push against the thigh to help open the hip up some more relax your neck relax the head and shoulders and stay here for now One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Coming into the same twist, release your legs here, knees to chest. Take your arms out to the side with the palms facing up. Inhale, and then exhale. Drop your knees to the right. Look over your left shoulder and allow those legs to be heavy. Allow your feet and ankles to relax. Let the body just soften here. And then slowly inhale, come back to center. Finding your happy baby pose, bring your knees apart, grab a hold of the edges of your feet or your big toes, lift your feet up to face the ceiling and bend the knees towards the ribs and armpits. Sway side to side if you want, remember to keep the sacrum flat on the floor, relax the shoulders and neck, breathing in and breathing out. Inhale and exhale. One more inhale and exhale. And then very slowly release your legs. Extend your legs into Shavasana. Legs as wide as your mat. Palms flip up, arms further away from your body. Shoulders relax. Relax your head, your neck here. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And sigh it out. And again, inhale. And let it all go. Relax your body here. Can you stay here for as long as you need to? Ideally for about five minutes or longer. Thank you so much for joining me in this class today. If you haven't yet, subscribe to this channel. Like this video if you enjoyed this class. And you can follow me on my social media accounts as well at Ilonga Yogi, as well as my yoga studio at Body Love Yoga Studio. Thank you once again and have a wonderful day.